Most channels would cover the latest in mobile phones, but in this episode we'll be looking at old phones. Mystery old phones. Hi, welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Jeff. I'm Frankie. And this is Morris. Yes, he's joining us for the day because, um, well, he wouldn't get off the sofa, to be honest. So he's... Uh, How long he'll yeah. stay here for, I don't know. Yes, but presenter. We'll, we'll make the most of him whilst he's here. Yes. We were looking through some old cupboards and came across a store of our old mobile phones, didn't we, Morris? Yes. And we thought that would be interesting to have a look through. So I got them out of the cupboard, didn't really look at them, just blindly grabbed them, stuffed them in these bags. So I've only got a vague idea about what's in here and you have no idea at all. I've got no idea at all. Other, It'll be a really than, interesting journey yeah, to uh, go through. Yeah, other than sort of dusty old memories from way back, which we be unearthing today. So yes. the, the uh, initial thing we're going to have to decide is who goes first and digs a phone out to have a look at. We'll just talk about the mobile phones and our impressions of what they were like at the time and uh, what we think of them now, you know, because yeah. that may change. What was nice back then may not be so good now. Yes. Um, shall I go first? Yeah, you go first. Okay, well, let's dig my hand in here and dig out the so first that. one. Ah, ah I think like this is a yeah. really this is a really interesting one. This you, is you one of my off with a good one. This is one of my favourite phones back in the day. It does have some some party piece. This does. Yeah. So it's a Sony Ericsson. I can't mm. remember the model. This phone's particular party piece is that in order to open it to get to the keypad, is that it twists around and opens. A lot of phones did that. Um, they were trying to go for sort of novelty keypad reveals, yeah. that sort of thing. Of course, we all remember the famous Matrix phone, which went Yes, I really, yes. really wanted one of those. Yeah, back in the day. The day but but they were hideous. So instead of we've got yeah. the so we got, we got this one, so mm. old school proper number pad. Yep. I do notice one thing about this, if you close it up again. Of course, this has the old Sony Ericsson connection oh, yes. thing. But of course, when you open it up like this, it then gets obscured, which would be a problem for some things that use this, which we shall look at later on. But say, did it have a camera? Because that it has could got not, a camera. That couldn't be taken for granted back then. No, it's a 1.3 megapixel camera. Oh, 1.3. Yes. So the camera on this one is um, another bit of a masterpiece because we've actually got a lens shutter. Oh, and so in lens, order to lens cover on. in order to actually open up yeah. the camera, you've got a little switch here that you you flick up and it opens the oh, lens cover. Nice. And then you that, that. close it down again. Right. And it looks like it's got a little flash. Yeah. Um, How many mobile phones have lens covers on their, yeah. on their lenses? I think and that's probably a very short list. Yeah. So what were your thoughts about that sort of at the time? Was it like a well-loved one? I seem to be cool really liking mm. it at the time because you've got the separate keypad yeah it meant that you got quite a large screen yeah that is a decent size screen for the time it feels nice and substantial yeah, even nice now it, it. you don't get that yeah. many phones that it feel almost, it almost so, yeah. so balanced really it's it almost quite... actually feels like a, a small um little compact camera i mean because if you didn't untwirl it you could mistake that for a little compact camera yeah. at the time. And I think you could probably use it mm. because you've got the camera shutter button at the top, I think. Yeah. I think that was another one of its party pieces that you yeah. could use it as a as a camera. You've got, kind of got to ask you, is this a phone with a nice camera or is it a camera that is, can also be a phone? Nice That's one. a nice yeah. one to start so with. We'll, Move on, and it's my turn. So, here we go into my little 
bag. Oh. Do you want me to hold the bag? Oh, okay, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. And I've got, oh, that's another one of yours. Oh, a little earlier. Another. Oh, my little T310. Oh, yes. So that one has uh, a lot smaller screen, though, doesn't it? Yes. This one is a lot more basic. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing that you could, I remember with this one, mm -hmm. is that you could get different attachments for the bottom of it. Yes, which so is I where had... I was going with this one. Yes. Because you could, with these, um, this wasn't just a charging port, it could also add accessories and there were... I had, um, for this one, yeah. I remember I had a camera accessory that went with yeah. it. There were also MP3. MP3 players. Which back in the day, I mean, we yeah. all think now MP3, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's just taken for granted, isn't it? But back in the day, being able to take the music, mm. I mean, we're talking, what, late early 2000s, mm. so, you know, I was still, yeah, I want, still have my personal yeah. CD player, you know, with anti-shock anti, anti -shock protection yeah. that I was using for my music. So to be able to have it on my mobile mm. was a novelty back then. It was probably only on like a 32 megabyte, megabyte, not gigabyte, yeah. cartridge. So yeah. you probably could have uh, like 20 songs of my yeah, song. like one much. album, one and a half album. But it maybe. did have, the camera but, that went on the yeah. bottom was an official Sony Ericsson camera that was designed, yeah. which yeah. was designed for this phone. And of course, not both, but you did, those upgrade options were available. Yeah. yeah. Um, this phone, as you say, very, very basic. Again, even very at the time. much. Even, eh? even at the time. Even at the time. Um, it was, but it was lovely. It's a nice form factor. It was really mm. small. Um, again, it had it had a decent keyboard. I mean, even though the keys are mm. small because they're slightly raised up, it's still very usable. Um, but you know, you got like three lines mm. of text. I think the camera was seriously like point three of a megapixel, would be the VGA territory. So it was. Yeah really not great quality at all and do you remember at the time the, uh, the controversy uh, about cameras on phones oh cameras on phones you won't be able to allow to take the phone into this place or that place and um, there was people were getting really heated up about it at the time yeah I mean it was yeah you wouldn't think yeah, and, and to think now, back at, yeah, yeah, now uh, it's just you've got you, you can probably take, better cameras on your phone than you have on it. Oh yeah, yeah, you, you can know. imagine, and, and no one thinks twice about it anymore. Yeah, but so so yeah, that I was another like, yeah, so that was another one of my mm. little Sony Ericsson's. As you say, I I really mm. liked Sony Ericsson's back in the day. Okay. Um, so Next yeah, one. my turn for another one. So let's just turn away. And put it in. And what, have what have I got here? Oh, talking of my ah, phone, and that yeah. is, I believe, the little MP3 player that goes no, on the bottom of it. No, did no slot. Yeah, this was one of the attachments, um, as we were just talking about a minute ago, and this, I believe, is the Bluetooth adapter. Oh, that allows you yeah. to, um, you know, it's, it's got pass through for the power, so you can still charge. Oh yeah. So this uh, gave you Bluetooth uh, on something like this. It would just plug in like so. And there you go. Suddenly you've got Bluetooth on this old phone. Yeah. Uh, right, your right. turn again. It's my turn again. Okay. And, oh, ah. Oh, I remember these ones. <laughs> Which one's today? It's the Skype phone. Oh, we have one each, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we had two of these. Yeah, these are, as you can see from the little, well, we do a little close up now. There's a little free logo, because I believe uh, they, they were exclusive to two, free. Two, three, they yeah. were indeed, yeah. And they, yeah, they've got a decent, they've got a camera, and um, yeah, the, idea was that you could use Skype, Skype yeah, to make phone Skype calls as, between as an each other without, yeah. using your, without using your minutes. Or... Yeah, except of course you would be using data. Yeah. <laughs> but this was sort of free showing off that we have 
all this data that we can use on our network because yeah. they were the first network with 3G and yes. the name that's what they call free and this was kind of a bit of a show-off phone for them to demonstrate look voice over internet and all that I mean, sort of thing. It's very well constructed. Yeah, it's a nice, it's got a nice, nice metal back. Nice metal back. And that um, plastic there, it's kind of the soft touch plastic, but it hasn't melted and gone on horrible no. like uh, a lot of them. Ooh, it's a little... But it has, yeah, this plast, soft touch plastic does have a habit of rotting after a while, but this is in fairly decent shape. Yeah. Comments below if you had one like this, or if you ever saw one. Yeah, that's an odd one. But yeah, this had a, a nice big decent screen, which was uh, yeah, another that's plus another, point for it. Yeah. Okay. What do you? Have a look and grab another one. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh no, this is another Sony Ericsson. Ah, I was this was, that was my the, one. I was yeah. thinking this was the other of the Skype phones. Yes, but, and um, actually I'll get the one, the free phone as well because these are actually quite similar in yeah, design. Yeah, I, I pulled it out and thought it was yeah, the other Skype no, phone. Yeah, it's not. They are very similar in design, but this is the old Sony Ericsson and was this the T610? I believe T610. So this was the bigger, posher brother to the 310 and yeah got a larger screen got a larger it? nicer quality screen metal rather than plastic and sort of, uh, sort of generally more premium look to it and has a camera built in as well and yes this was a nice phone the buttons on this are nice they have, have a play with those they're nice and clicky yeah. and very positive feeling. And they're nicely spaced apart yeah. as well, so you don't feel like yeah. when you're pressing them, you're going to press this. And, and the, the menu mm. buttons were always very nice. Yeah. I think even now, that still feels like a nice, good quality. If you wanted a just a, a simple a feature phone, as it would be called, um, yeah. that just still look, just to make phone calls, that still, you, you, took, that, you took that out now. You know, people. You know, you wouldn't look. You, like you wouldn't you look. You know, apart from the fact that it, it isn't. You know, apart from the fact it isn't a smartphone, and people might comment on that. But apart from that, if you know, the fact that it's a candy bar feature phone, it is a nice looking, nice feeling one. A nice example of the uh, the species. Yes. yes. This that was a uh, quite a, a favourite of mine at the time. Yeah. Hmm. I think we had those. Sony mm. Ericsson's for a while, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, those ones. Who's, who's it next? That it's was your turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it was. So let's have a go. And ooh, ooh talking of Sony this, Ericsson. No, this one is one of mine, and it was yes. probably the last Sony Ericsson. Well, it was the last Sony it Ericsson was. phone. It was the last Sony was, Ericsson phone. I was going to say it's the last one that I yeah. had, but it was actually the last Full one stop. with the Sony Ericsson brand. Now, this one was called the Arc S. Xperia Arc S. The Xperia, the Xperia Arc, Arc, S. Arc S. Yeah. And if you look at it very closely, you can see there's a slight curve to it. Oh yeah. And which meant it, it was yeah. really nice. If you look at it, even more you closely, you know it's a screen is cracked, which is which is, is a, 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 a tragedy. But yeah, um, but never mind. But you know, it it's made it really really nice to hold. Now yeah. back in the day, this was their flagship, one of their yes. flagship yeah. phones, and it yeah. was the first. I think it was one of my first high-end phones that I had as well. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was your first smartphone. Uh, I don't think it was. No, I don't think it was a smartphone first. Smart. The, yeah, it might not have been my phone. first smartphone, but, but it's certainly my first kind of high end, high end, yeah. high end phone. Mm. You know, I'd, I'd mm. clearly got a better yeah. job and, and got myself sorted out a bit more and, and decided that I wanted this one. I remember having my heart set on this one mm. and trying to find a place that would actually sell the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an HD camera yeah. on it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, it's a quality phone and you know it's i'm absolutely yeah. mortified that the screen's now cracked and i was actually thinking about going and getting it fixed but it's not really worth yeah, it it's worth about a five it's, worth about, it's literally <laughs> worth about a five and i one um, issue i do remember what this because this form factor wise a lovely phone but 
it was let down a bit by its internal memory, wasn't it? It oh, had yes. very, very limited internal storage. And this was the early days of Android. Nowadays, if you get an SD card, stick it into your mobile phone, it can just expand the memory. You can install all your uh, applications on that extended memory and you can just treat the SD card as just continuation of yeah. the internal memory, but that not came with back one of the Android, then. That, that yeah. came with yeah. one of the Android updates. Yeah, but not back but not then. Back here. No, I remember that. Because yeah, I think that could actually that could... take an SD card, but because the internal memory was very, very limited, I think something like two gigabytes, something yeah. like that, uh, it just ran out. I think that's why I changed yeah. it. I think that was what made me change Yes, I think that end. was what was... Because, mm. you know, the, the the world of Android and the world of apps and everything yes. was getting more and more. You could store like two applications on it. Yeah, and, and I was it. constantly having to uninstall stuff and, and reinstall yeah. stuff. And it was just getting a bit of a faff in the yeah. end. Apps, um, apps wouldn't install on yeah. the SD card, it was just, it was just a pain. This if, one's got a little HDMI port in the top Yeah, it? yeah, so they had all the little bells and whistles. Mm. But yeah. that was, I think, probably mm. my, my favourite of, of all my phones. Okay, next one. So is it my turn next? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, so I've only mm. got one left in here. Okay. And this, I believe, oh, is yours. This was, oh, this was a nice one. This was a very nice... Now, this one's... Back to Ericsson. One. Before they yeah, merged. Before, the, before they merged. And uh, this, uh, as if you can see it styling, if it looks kind of similar, it looks very similar to the, um, the T68, but obviously much bigger um, without the flip. Um, but it had that sort of styling because it came out about that time of the T68 and it was basically their executive model it was sort of an earlier yeah what would eventually become like this yeah yeah um and so, still has this great big stubby aerial i'm guessing the screen, yeah. the screen was just black, black and, white. and white screen yeah battery that just pops out the back and it but it did do something um that a lot of mobile phones uh, either didn't do or did do and didn't really trumpet about it. It had the uh, extended messaging service, which allowed you to send basically pictures over the SMS. Oh, okay, so if, MMS. Uh, uh, no, no, not MMS. Oh. It was something between, because MMS used lots of data, but yes. this extend, uh, extended uh, messaging used the same, so it would cost you the same as a, a, okay. a text message. Oh, okay. But would include graphics. The, very basic the, graphics. Yeah, very basic maybe. black and white graphics um, from basically a stock set. But it allowed you to do that. Obviously, the, the recipient phone had to be able to be compatible with it. But yeah, that was. Um, not that common a feature. You just have Bluetooth built in. Oh, okay. And Quite advanced. Yeah, then. yeah. So that was, that, like that, was yeah. that marketed more as a business phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Day. Very, okay. very much. That was that one. I uh, yes, this was. I can't remember where I got it, but um, it was it was a good deal. And I thought, wow, this looks like a nice phone. It was a, yeah. an upgrade from I think my. Is it not? To, must be like my second mobile phone. My first was another Ericsson, but a big plasticky um, phone, sort of, sort of like this. But imagine this, but sort of in chunky, oh, okay. chunky plastic. Yeah. Uh, but and this was sort of the, the slim executive model with a metal back. Yeah. Very nice. Pretty fond of this phone. Was at the time. My turn next. Let's have a look and see what else we've got. Oh, this one feels interesting. Let's see other. Oh no, it's not. Oh, now this one, I yeah. believe, is your yeah, one. Yeah, this is my clamshell. And clamshell. that, yes. I believe, is the Razer. The Razer X. Yes. Now back yes. in the <laughs> and if I remember rightly, back in the day, that was um, hailed for its thinness. Well, not this one in particular, but um, the original ones, because this one is a bit thicker because it is that number again, three. 
free G, oh, this okay. is the free G version. Yeah. And but this was back in the day yeah. when mobile phones were mm. trying to get thinner and thinner and thinner. Yeah, but these were still <laughs> uh, you know, a decent um, a decent size, simply usable, nice big keys. Yeah. And a decent size screen. They did, of course, mobile phones did go through crazy times when they went incredibly tiny. Yes. And of course, Nokia had that in just bonkers period where the keyboards were weird shapes, circular shapes. Yeah, they um, engage and things like that. All sorts of different. Um, shapes and layouts of keys and yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah Nokia lost their minds basically for a while but this yeah Motorola I believe the uh, follow-up to this a folding full screen phone will be coming out very shortly but this is the 3G version of the classic Razer and so is that a was. notification screen on the um, side? yeah yeah that is still nice lovely isn't it? Yeah, that's a nice motion. And it's the, it's the rubber holding up over the years? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's okay as well. Yeah. I can, can imagine, I'm not sure with the uh, bendy screen version of this whether you'd be able to be quite so cavalier about opening and closing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah, might be a bit more careful with that. And this one was my first and only phone I've had personally on contract and I remember we got free with it, free as these things are and aren't actually, because you always end up paying for them in the monthly cost. Uh, we got a PSP. Yes, the I Sony remember PSP, that. Yes. Yeah. But we ended up having to drive ages to pick the PSP up. I can't remember, it was, it was a snafu with the delivery and we had to oh. drive for miles to pick it oh, up God, from in the yeah. middle of nowhere. Yeah, gosh, you've got a good memory. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. driving there. It's like I can't remember it's where we are. An industrial estate in the middle of nowhere. Morris is having a stretch. Yeah, he's also molting. So if you see um, yes, bits fair. of white fur flying around the, around the screen. Um, yes, it's not, it's comp Morris. not, not special effects. It's, it's more of a shed. It's not snowing. Yeah, but yeah. Happy memories with that one. Okay, there's okay. one phone left, one phone. which Who's I believed this? is your turn okay. to pull it out. Let's have a go. And it is... Are we gonna guess what it is? Oh, we do have it. There it is. Ah, yes. So this is a Sony. Yes. Oh, was it just a Sony? This was is it? just the Sony. Just the Sony. This, I think, yeah, was there. the first one you gave me. Yeah. Um, it was my. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it wasn't my first mobile yeah. phone, but it was my first kind of That's more high-end, I suppose, yeah. verging on. So this, was, yeah, this one was really nice. Um, it's got the um, little thing at the side. Yeah, I mean, that's about its only redeeming feature on it that I can see. I mean, it's not got a camera or... No, no, this is probably the earliest one. And, oh, I remember one thing this did have. This had polyphonic ringtones, which was a big thing. Back yes. Then. Yeah. I was going to touch on ringtones because I remember back in the yeah. day you used to have the you used to have the user manuals for the for the phones. Oh yeah. And it used to tell you mm. that um, if you wanted to compose because on some of the phones you could compose your own oh, right. ringtones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you looked through the user manual it would tell you what button presses mm -hmm. got you what note. Oh right. Now, Back in the day, I remember sitting down for hours with a piece, I can't remember which song it was now, but I had the sheet music for it. Oh, right. The actual music for it, and I spent hours inputting this tune <laughs> with the right timings and the right notes into whichever phone it was at the time. Probably one of the early Nokia or something. It was probably yeah. one of my early Nokias, um, yeah. which we haven't got in here. No. So my, my first ever phone, I think, that I had was um, the Motorola. The, mm. the, well, I suppose the classic brick phone that you yeah. had that had the aerial on it um, that I, I was given um, and then the first phone that I actually bought was the Nokia 3210 oh, and yeah. that, that was one of my you know all-time favorites because you know back in the day you could buy ring, polyphonic ringtones and stuff for it yeah you know you could you could phone up this number and yeah. order this ringtone and pay for it and have it delivered to your phone. So, yeah. um, I'm going to say something controversial. What's that? 
everybody always goes on about, oh, the old 3310, everyone always remembers the 3310. I hated the 3310. It was horrible. It just looked like a big bar had, of soap. That's why I had the 3210. Yeah, the 3210 the was a lovely phone, really nicely designed. I loved it. 3310 was ugly. It, it was, was shorter. An horrible, it was horrible, ugly. It was shorter and dumpier, if I remember mm. rightly. And yeah, then it went it on to the, round. And then it went on to the yeah. 3410, which went back to a bit more of the, a yeah, bit more of the um, what's the word I'm looking for, characteristics of yeah. the 32. Yeah, but everyone has what, all the memes about the 3310 and oh. And that's, that's but, oh, the one they that decided to reproduce, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, the 3210 was the, 30, the nice one. Yeah, yeah, not the 3310. No, I yeah. have very fond memories of, of my 3210. Mm. Um, so but yeah, the polyphonic ringtones were a big thing. It was polyphonic ringtones, then colour screens. Yes. I believe first colour screen T68, Ericsson T68. It's the first one I remember seeing at any rate. Uh, that was an expensive phone for the time. But. Yeah. So thinking, thinking of phones of the sort of era that we've been looking at today, mm -hmm. are there any that you, in hindsight, wished you'd purchased? The mm -hmm. money, no object. Yes. Um, probably the T68i. Um, I think just because from the novelty of it having a colour screen, that was the thing. And it just, it was a nice, nice looking phone. Um, either that or possibly, I think it was a T39, the flip. Uh, basically a, a very similar sort of um, looking phone but had a flip down uh, cover in front of the keypad. Yeah. Um, so yeah, from that sort of era, or of course, you know, money, no object, maybe the old uh, Nokia Matrix phone. That's going to be oh, right. Yeah. So that one, that one would have been, you, you would have been, been my been choice. Your cho yeah. So many, many no object, I would have had yeah. either the Matrix phone oh, for yeah. obvious reasons. Mm. I mean, it's not obvious to anyone who doesn't mm. know that the Matrix is one of my favourite films and I, I just loved the phone um, yeah. and it was a novelty value. Um, but it would have been either that one or the P800. Oh yeah, which is the little personal yeah. organizer phones. I loved those phones yeah, back in the yeah. day. Because they sort had a little smart phones phone. before um, smartphones as we knew them now. They were uh, more, it was yeah. more PDA, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was they, back in the day they were called PDAs, but yeah, yeah, my smartphones really are PDAs, just with a phone. Yeah, but back then, what the applications that were on it were set and you couldn't change it. That, that's basically the big difference between smartphones back then and smartphones now, yeah. is the fact that you, you can you change. Can choose you can choose which applications yeah, you, can you want. Swap it out and, yeah, and customise it. Yeah, and yeah. customise them. But those those that, would be my... Of course, um, in today's market, you can get a phone that is based on the Matrix phone. Yes, because they re-released the... 3310. Yes. Wrong phone, but they also mucked up another one. Yes. They they mucked it up because you instead of having the two buttons on the side that you click to make it come down and slide mm -hmm. down because it was a curved phone that was one of its yeah. things. Yeah. With, with um, the chink cover. Yes, with the chink as you put it cover. Mm -hmm. Um, you have to physically slide it down. Yes. I was unimpressed by this, and when I moaned at the shop assistant at the time as to why on earth did they not, they had yeah. one simple job to do yeah. and they didn't had, do it. You had one job, job and it didn't re do it. the Matrix phone. And it, it doesn't do it. Yep, and you didn't do it. And, um, that that and, that and re-release 3310. Yeah. And to my dismay, Double. the um. shop assistant did not understand my frustrations or why I was so yeah. narked at this. Yeah, I don't Which care if it works as a phone or not. I just want it to go to chink. Yes. That's all I want. I would have, if, it, if it had gone to chink, <laughs> and I not would, worked, it would have been fine. I would have bought it. <laughs> it, I just, would have it just as a stage prop to go to chink by my ear. <laughs> yeah. They, they would have That's had a sale. All it needed to do. It's all it needed to do. Um, never mind. So yes, never mind.
Oh, I think Morris has uh, had about enough. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll. My call, legs have gone to yeah, sleep. Yeah, we'll call that a day. And if you'd like to see more from us, or possibly even Morris, if you decide to make another guest appearance, then subscribe. But I've been Jeff. I've been Frankie. This little one has been Morris. And this has been the Mammoth Tech Show, and you've been very kind to watch. Thank you very much. Oh.